And it came to pass, when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and the daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were fair, and they took their wives of all which they chose. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not overstride with men, for that he is also flesh, yet his days shall be a hundred twenty years. They were dying between the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came into the daughters of men, and they birthed children to them, the same became mighty men, which were of old men of known. I and God saw that the wickedness of men was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And it repented the Lord that he made men on the earth, and it grieved him at his heart. And the Lord said, I will destroy men whom I have created from the face of the earth, both men and beasts, and the creep of thee, and the fowls of the air. For he repented me that I have made them, but Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. These are the generations of Noah, nor was a just man, and perfect in his generations, and Noah walked with God, and Noah begot three sons, Shem, Hem, and Joseph. The earth was also corrupt before God, and the earth was filled with violence. And God looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, the end of all flesh is come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them. And behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Make thee an ark of both of wood. Room shalt thou make an ark, and shalt pitch it within and without with pitch. And this is the fashion which thou shalt make it of. The length of the ark shall be three hundred cubits, the breadth of it. 50 cubits, and the height of it, 30 cubits. A window shalt thou make to the ark, and in the cubits shalt thou finish it above. And the door of the ark shalt thou set it in, in the side thereof. With lower, second, and third story shalt thou make it. And behold, I even, I do bring a flood of waters upon the earth to destroy all flesh, wherein is the breath of life from, from under heaven. And everything is in the earth shall die. But with thee will I establish my covenant. Thou shalt come into the ark, thou and thy sons, and thy wife, and thy sons, wives with thee, and of every living thing of all flesh, to a living sort, shalt thou bring it to the ark, to keep them alive with thee. They shall be male and female, of fowls after their kind, and of cattle after their kind, of every creeping thing of the earth after its kind. Two of every sort shall come unto thee to keep them alive, and take thou unto thee of all food that is eaten, and thou shalt gather it to thee, and it shall be for food for thee and for them. Thus did Noah according to all that God commanded him, so did he. Genesis 6.